Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Well, if that ain't paradise, I don't know what is. It's, it's incredible. It's just amazing. We have never seen anything like this. This is the best day ever. G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now you're probably wondering what the hell we are doing standing in the middle of a river. And why we're not with the FJ. <laughs> and why we're not with the FJ45. We have been adjusting back to not traveling full time lately. Mm -hmm obviously and so uh, with that we're trying to get away at every single chance possible yeah. so we thought we'd bring you along for a little weekend trip we're at this beautiful property here in Moore River right now yeah and our original plan wasn't to Ollie uh, stop drinking Ollie uh, tends to drink salt water <laughs> we, we don't know why he does it but uh, he drinks salt water but anyway anyway our original <laughs> plan was to not start our vlog here because we're actually here for a photography yeah. gig so we were going to just focus on that but it's just so beautiful so we just had to start the vlog while we're here today to yeah. show you around a bit it, it's uh it's a camp on hip camps so there's wiki camps and hip camps and all that kind of stuff <laughs> kind of um, like airbnb but for campsites yeah now we like megan said we weren't going to video it but then we rocked up and it was an oasis. Just stunning. We just thought we have to show you this. Mm -hmm. We can't not share it. So we're going to stay here tonight. Yep. And then tomorrow we got a first. We <laughs> traveled the whole entire country and we did not do this. And, and it's we're... something that has been on my bucket list for yep. years that I've been wanting to and, try. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I'm not gonna let Megan just do it. So it, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a crack up and it's gonna be a, probably an epic <laughs> fail. <laughs> But uh, it's going to be hilarious, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, we're going to head back up to the car, cook some dinner, take our photos that we need to do for this little job, and uh, we will see you in the morning for some epic fails. Megan, are you ready? I'm ready. You ready for the big day? What are we doing? We have come to Lancelin, a place called Back Back Beach, eh? Yeah. It's called Back Beach, and we have got some surfboards. <laughs> it's so windy though. <laughs> it's pretty windy today. And uh, but I'm feeling a bit confident because there's quite a few people here. Yeah. But um, then also not confident because there is so many people here and we're going to look like absolute rookies out there. But uh, <laughs> we're giving it a shot. Got to learn somehow. Um, so we have got absolutely no clue what to do. Uh, we know there's a bit of wax on the boards. You need wax on the boards. And then we just uh, we just sat in here for our first little surf check. I had no idea what that was before, but I still don't really know what it is. But we just like looked at <laughs> looked at what was going on. So. 
<laughs> feeling pretty surfy. There's a few righties out there and a few lefties. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But uh, yeah, we've got two surfboards. We borrowed it, borrowed them off some mates, and uh, surfs up. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Get our ankle safety harnesses on. Hey. <laughs> Feeling less confident. Hey. Feeling less confident already. Classic. Those waves look intimidating. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Megan, nice. paddle out. Chair. Hey. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Ollie! Ollie! Oh, yeah, I'm still wearing my sunnies. Number one, I didn't realise I was still wearing my sunnies. And Ollie's having a bloody anxiety attack on the beach, so <laughs> I think we're going to put him in the back of the car for a bit. Look at him. He thinks we're going to drown. <laughs> we probably are. Okay, so verdict on surfing, <laughs> but yeah. it was fun. It was the f it was the most fun I've had in a while. It's definitely not as glamorous as I was expecting. Got <laughs> boobs flying out everywhere, <laughs> snot running down my face. Dislocated fingers almost. Drinking all the seawater, but, but that is fun. I am so keen to practice that more. Stealing, so I do feel a bit more glamorous eventually. Stealing people's waves. Yeah, that was that was an experience. Did you stand up? Nah. You didn't. Megan stood up. I stood up, but I wasn't even on a wave. I was just standing on Megan got flat water. Dunked, mate. I, I did a full somersault under the water. Surely that's like the worst that could Classic. happen to me, eh? Yeah, that, that was a good experience. <laughs> and anybody who's thinking about doing it should definitely do it. Give it a go. Um, that's a, that is, yeah. I just want to say that actually. Anyone who really wants to try something but you're scared of, I don't know, being judged because you're not good at it. Because I think that was my issue for so yeah. many years. Watch out for the children. <laughs> now, of course, we are in Lancelin, uh, so two things you have to do here, three things, go surfing, uh, check out the bakery, which we're going to now, and then the troopy has actually never been on the Lancelin sand dunes oh, before. Yeah. So I don't think go. I've ever even seen them. Megan hasn't even been, she's seen them, but you haven't been like inside. In them. I haven't experienced them. Megan's a bit car sick, guys. I never get car sick, but I'm feeling so crook right now. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's because it's so white. Yeah. And it, it trips you out a bit. And I was focusing on the drone screen. Thanks. But <laughs> I've got to show you guys why this place is so dangerous. The, it's a bit windy, but I'll take the camera and I'll show you this. You have to be so careful here because you'll be driving along and you will come up to, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, I don't think you can, 
but you'll come up to drops where it just drops vertical right there you, you can't even see it and it is very very dangerous uh, th this place is packed as well with people it's pretty awesome but uh, yes got to be careful hey Meg if you're coming here you ha oh god there's a massive bee <laughs> if you come in here respect the place and be very careful and it's recommended that you come with two cars as well because we've already seen about five people bogged um, so yes be very careful here and let your tires down but uh, what are we doing now Megan we where are we going go to camp what's the camp called what is it called? fire drum oh, yes. <laughs> fire drum <laughs> if you type in on Google Maps fire drum that's where we go I guess <laughs> we haven't been here in a few years, so um, it's closed. Yeah. Everything's, everything's oh, getting bogged. Oh. <laughs> a lot of places seem to be having this happen. Mm -hmm. um, I guess it's with the overload of people, and they're just getting shut down. So mm -hmm. we're going to head further south now to a place called Willabinga. Uh, we've been going there for the last 15, 16 years, so. Hopefully, that's Hopefully not that shut doesn't down. get shut down. <laughs> but I reckon it's going to be packed. Yeah. Um, being the weekend as well. But oh well, we'll head back. Um, if people that have been here, it's called Breton Bay. And there's a place called Fire Drum here where we are at the moment. And it's very good fishing as well. So if you can work out a way to get to Breton Bay, or if you have any tips and you've been here not too, like recently, I would like to know. Guys, Willabinga, two rocks, absolute paradise. It is busy though. It's pretty disappointing actually. Why is that? It's nice, but They're people perfect. leave crap everywhere. Look at this. Plastic plates, there's glass absolutely everywhere. Tin, duct tape. Pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah, I think I might do another little clean up while we're here. Look, there's even pegs here. So it's the reason why places like this get shut down. Mm -hmm. Now we've all heard it before, but it is the reason why, and it's it's quite sad. But uh, we'll do a little clean up and uh, get on with our day. <laughs> What's the plan? Well, first of all, I'm going to eat this caramel slice I got from the bakery because <laughs> I, well, I had it held in front of the aircon this whole trip here. It's like I 35 didn't, degrees. I today. didn't want to eat it yet because I was feeling really car sick, but no. um, I'm feeling better now, so I'm going to eat that. And another thing as well, so much to catch up on. <laughs> We got rid of our rear bar. Check it out, mate. We got the original. We're taking it back to stock. Ollie's just uh, chugging away there. But yes, we got a new rear bar bumper. Went back to the original one. I sold the rear bar for $750 and the guy gave me the bumper as well. So I'm stoked with that. And there actually is a difference when we're driving along. There's a difference to the sway. So quite interesting. What else we got to catch up on? fill everyone in on another fail that has happened today. Oh yeah. I think we 
broken our top lens that we used. Well, I <laughs> broke I can't say we, it was me. When was I was driving car. up the dunes. Big gust of wind came over and knocked over my tripod that I did not set up properly. This is my favorite lens as well. What is it? So 20. Oh, I got... oh I'm gonna There's the cap. <laughs> anyway. Megan's going to do some editing <laughs> and I am going to go tire this dog out because he has a ridiculous he's amount of energy. He's got so much energy. I we don't, don't know understand. what's going on. It's like he's going through like a little puberty stage, puberty stage or something, <laughs> even though he doesn't have the equipment required yeah. for puberty <laughs> anymore. Yes, he got cut off, poor doggy. <laughs> but so uh, yes, that's what we're going to do. Megan's going to edit and I'm going to tire the hell out of this dog so he can have a good night's sleep. So while Jack is trying his absolute best to tire out Ollie, I just want to say a big thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace, and an even bigger thank you to everyone who checked out our newly launched website and for all the great feedback. We're really keen to get into some more blog posts and it's just been awesome to explore a new way of creating content other than the photography and videography that we've done in the past. If you're keen to start your own blog or website, I would definitely recommend checking out Squarespace. They have so many user-friendly templates and you're able to get such a professional look without having to hire a web developer. As well as all of the great blogging features including commenting and analytics, it can be used for any type of website including e-commerce. So if you're keen to check it out, head over to squarespace.com for your own free trial and then when you're ready to launch your website, you can go to squarespace.com forward slash JM Exploring for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. You tired yet? You stay there mate. Good boy. Megan, what are we cooking? We are cooking Jack's least favourite food in the world, salmon. I got food poisoning and it was because of a salmon dish I had. When was that? It was ages ago at a hotel. Ah. That's why I don't like it. Oh, like classic. And uh, it was a very bad, bad situation. So it's a big no-no for salmon <laughs> with me. And also, this is all the rubbish we picked up. It's a very... Yeah, it was heavy bag full I found oil and all kinds of things and there's ridiculous amounts of glass down down by the dunes over there it's it's not good Disgusting. very disappointing we would pick up more but we don't have the we room didn't have we didn't even think of it ourselves this time we're yeah. just throwing it um, in the in our camp cover bag, even yeah. just little plastic bags of Ollie's poo we've just been throwing in there. <laughs> Nobody wants to know about Ollie's poo. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so we, we've only brought one bag along so we couldn't pick up any more. Not just like the poo. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. We're wrapping it in a plastic bag, yeah. Claire, but only those little doggy, doggy bags. bags. But yes, dinner's cooking away and we're just going to enjoy this absolutely magical spot. And we will. Oh, here comes Ollie. Got some energy now. He's got his energy or back. maybe he's going to do another poop. No, nope. <laughs> he wants to stick. We will see you guys in the morning. There you go, Megan. There is your breakfast. Thank you. What's wrong with the drawer? It's stuck. 
All our all our stuff's falling apart. I don't know what's wrong with that. Oh, there we go. The lever's a bit sticky. Oh, here we go. The jet boil's done. Like a sandwich today because we've lost all of our forks. Oh, you just spin the jet boil. Oh. Spin it. That one. No, the other way. Yep, that's it. Beautiful. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Yes, we left all our cutlery at home, didn't we? Well, we've lost half of it. We've lost <laughs> three out of four of our forks, and then I washed the only fork that we had left, and I left it at home. Classic. So it's a bit of a disaster. But it is a very beautiful morning here today at Two Rocks. It's actually spectacular. What's the plan today, Megan? Well, we're gonna go check out one more beach um, because it's supposed to be really, really nice and we've never been there. So we're gonna go to Yantship Lagoon. Um, yes, we've it's supposed to be really clear water and one of the nicest ones north of Perth. So I'm really excited. So it turns out that Yanship Lagoon is not dog friendly after all. Yep. So we just come down to the dog beach here instead, but it's still really, really nice. So I'm keen to go and check out that one when we don't have Ollie because it's supposed to be really beautiful. I just wanted to tell you guys, uh, it, we want to keep doing these weekend vlogs. So just leave a comment down below if you would like to see more of them, because we do enjoy doing them or if you'd like to see more of the FJ build. But I think regardless, this is going to be our last vlog of the year. Yeah, it is. Because we just got all FJ episodes <laughs> coming up for the, the rest of the, the year. The year's almost over. Yeah. But, uh, but it's still yeah. like pretty crazy to yeah. think of how many vlogs we've done this year. It's pretty Yeah, it's a lot. So. I think we've done 72 videos. So, yeah. it's pretty good effort. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's time to get back in the garage tomorrow and work on the FJ. And uh, we'll see you next Sunday for that. See ya.